Oh my God, I can't believe this. Robert Helfrey hasn't been seen or heard from since May 22nd. This is the moment late Thursday night, two volunteer sonar search and recovery groups say they found Bob Helfrey's SUV submerged in a retention pond. He said, I will find him, give me some time. This is Exploring with the Nug. My name is Jeremy, and today I'm here to talk to you about Robert Helfrey. He was a missing man out of Palm Harbor, Florida. He went missing many years ago. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about this guy, and uh, myself included, I went searching for him a few times, made a couple videos. Let me take you back to one of the videos that I made, give you a little snip pick, catch you up on what I did. The first missing person is named Robert David Helfrey. And he went missing out of Palm Harbor, Florida, May 22nd, 2006. Helfrey was last seen leaving a bar called Peggy O'Neill's Irish Pub in Eatery. He had two jobs, and one was managing the Thirsty Marlin Seafood Restaurant. He closed that restaurant about 12.30 a.m. and joined his friends at Peggy O'Neill's. At around 1.30 p.m., he left the pub and drove away in his blue and gray Mitsubishi Outlander hatchback with Florida license plate numbers G83NYD. After he left the pub, he was supposed to meet up with his friends, and his friends talked to him on the phone at around 2 a.m., but he never showed up, and that's the last anybody ever heard anything from him. I tried my best that day, but me and Adam, we just could not find him. We searched the canal, we searched the waters, but ultimately, we was in the wrong spot. Adam and myself even ended up out on like the coast or the harbor uh, near where he lived, and we searched the waterways there, and uh, we, spent, we spent a lot of time out in the water searching for him, and uh, ultimately, we, we, we just couldn't find him. And uh, we was really sad about that, but at least we got these videos out to bring awareness so people could continue the search and keep his story alive because we knew he was out there somewhere. Well, let me share with you what happened here within the last day or two. Robert Helfrey has been found, and it wasn't by me. It wasn't by any of the other guys. It was from a team called Sunshine Sonar Search Team and Recon Diver. These guys are killing it in Florida. They are spending so much time researching these cases and searching every little body of water they can. They're spending days and days and days and I couldn't be more proud of these guys. They are doing ultimately what we couldn't do which is which is find this guy and uh, you know let me show you some of the stuff that I found online and catch you up on what's going on right now. A volunteer dive team that searches for missing people found an SUV in a pond in Palm Harbor and inside human remains and possibly answers to a man's disappearance almost 17 years ago. Robert Helfrey hasn't been seen or heard from since May 22nd, 2006. He was supposed to meet up with a friend that night, but he never made it. And as Fox's, uh, Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy tells us, Helfrey's family and friends are hoping that today's discovery will put to rest all the rumors surrounding his disappearance. This is the moment late Thursday night, two volunteer sonar search and recovery groups say they found Bob Helfrey's SUV submerged in a retention pond. Ken Fleming with Recon Dive Recovery announces the discovery through his regulator to his crew and Sunshine State Sonar who worked together to bring this case to closure nearly 17 years later. And as I breathe, you can see the silt moving and uh, every letter of the license plate had to be um, felt by hand. Pinellas County deputies pulled the vehicle out of the water Friday. Deputies say Helfrey was last seen leaving Peggy O'Neill's bar in Palm Harbor around midnight on May 22nd, 2006. He planned to meet a friend but never arrived. The bar is right across the street from the restaurant The Thirsty Marlin, where Helfrey was the general manager. His childhood friend and the owner of The Thirsty Marlin, Brian St. Arnold, said as Helfrey closed the restaurant the day he went missing. 618 this morning, the home phone rings and no one ever calls the home phone anymore. My wife goes to the bathroom, answers the phone, and I hear her say, oh my God, I can't believe this. And I walk to her and say, what has happened? And they tell me we found Bob. And I say, well, dear God, how did, after all these years. St. Arnold says today's news puts rumors about Helfrey's disappearance to rest. It's been lots of mysteries over the years. So many people have asked us, have you heard what happened to Bob? Did anybody find? And 
uh, about a year ago, this fella came to us and said that he was going to be looking with sonar equipment and trying to find Bob and gave an interview with us, called me back a couple of days later and said, I will find him. Give me some time. He did. Helfrey's family says they want him to be remembered as a great son and father and a veteran who served in Desert Storm. Sunshine State Sonar and Recon Dive Recovery are the two volunteer groups who brought this case to closure. They say they go through national missing persons databases looking for people who went missing with their vehicles. They say they had been working on Helfrey's case for about a year. When the family member comes up and gives you a hug and it's bittersweet, you know, they're glad you're there. They wish you weren't. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News. Now, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says the medical examiner will work to identify the remains and make sure that it is Bob Helfrey and determine a cause of death. Now, if that's not crazy enough, check this story out. Robert Helfrey was found here just last day or two, but let's go back maybe a week ago. Sunshine Sonar Search Team found Robert Heike in Florida. Another case that we've all taken a crack at and couldn't find him. He found him also. He was crashed out on the side of the road in a pond. Sadly, he was deceased. Two cases back to back. If you saw Doug's live stream here not too long ago, he was on it. And that's what they were talking about. And so, like, this guy, he he's doing great things. And I couldn't be more proud, like I said. And I wanted to make this video... A hundred percent to give these guys recognition because they don't do YouTube. They don't do face. They, they have a Facebook channel and I'll link it in the description down below, but th they're not, they're not, um, they're not making videos. You know, it's, it's a, uh, it's more of a nonprofit. It's more of helping the families and they're doing it, you know, on their dime and their time. They have full-time jobs. They're doing this on the side. They're taking time away from their family uh, to help these other families in need, which is amazingly noble, but it takes a lot of work, a lot of energy, and a lot of money. So here's what I wanna do. I want you guys to visit a link down below. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe to get these guys a little boost, get some better equipment, help them financially, to you know, ultimately just continue the journey of finding missing people, because they're doing a great job, but they're doing it for free. And you know how it is with money. Uh, money money makes the world go round and these guys are really doing it uh, out of the kindness of their hearts as we all are but you, you guys get what I'm saying they're they're not making money off YouTube Facebook all these Instagram things uh, memberships all this other stuff which is how you know I make my money you know which is how I fund this stuff so like I said there's a GoFundMe link right now it's gonna be linked in the description down below I want you guys to go there donate a dollar donate five dollars donate whatever you can uh, Help these guys out. Uh, I think it would be great if we could get them some better equipment, get them some better dive gear, get them maybe better boats, get them anything. You know what I'm saying? It would be great because these I, I couldn't, like I said, out of all the dive teams out there, these guys really are on top of my list of just humble, amazing human beings doing the right thing. And uh, like, I couldn't be prouder. Like I keep saying it over and over again, but these guys are great. So by all means, Go check out uh, their Facebook page. Leave them a comment. Um, tell them how good they're doing. They need to hear that. Kind words go a long ways. And if you got the money, shoot them a dollar because um, it'll go even farther. And it's going to help them out. We all know how gas is, food. You know, I sleep in this van behind me. Cracker Barrel is our new best friend. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a hard life, man. So by all means, help them out. I appreciate you guys' support. And, uh, and let's, just keep this motive, let's just keep this movement going because it's it's we really are making a difference between all the teams around the country people are getting found that have been lost for way too long so once again i appreciate your guys support go check them out drop them some support because you know they they would love to hear it and until we meet again my name is jeremy i will see you guys on the next video